everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure. Oh the wind is a bit significant today I'm sorry everyone. Uh, the first shell today I just spotted it and it does look very very nice. Would you get a look at this blue cowrie? I think it might be a sub adult because look at that lovely band of color going all the way around to the bottom. That is a gorgeous cowrie to start us off with. Um, we did get a storm early this morning, earlier than expected, so I'm hoping that maybe we got some more great shells to find today. No way, right after I put that blue cowrie away, that should have been the first find. Oh, wow, let me just boop that snail off. Yes, please, there we go. It is a paper fig. I found one yesterday that was actually much nicer in colour, but this one's condition is a lot better. Wow, paper figs today, I guess, or, or, you know, this week. A few other shellers have also found paper figs here recently. Oh, well, that is a very nice crowned cone. Let's take a look at him. Yep, oh, there was a little snail on it. Yeah, that one looks super nice. His pattern is awesome. I see our first bonnet today. It looks like our Mr. Hermit Crab is trying to take it. Mr. Hermit Crab, you are far too small for that bonnet, sir. See, this is the Hermit Crab. He's in something this big. I'll put him right back down and he wants to try to fit into something this big. Come on, Mr. Hermit Crab. That's a bit too much of a difference, you know? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now that I'm looking at it, this is another exceptionally lovely banded bonnet. I'm saying another because, of course, last time there was just so many beautiful bonnets to be found. There we go. That is an absolutely gorgeous shell. Oh, well, right underneath that ripply water, doesn't this one look interesting? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh? I think, I thought, is it a moon snail or a neurite? The bottom makes me think it's a neurite, but I've never seen a white one before. Gosh, that's a pretty guy. Oh, would you look at that? I almost missed it in the ripply water. Yes. Oh, that is spectacularly adorable. That has got to be the smallest whole banded bonnet I've ever found. Oh my, isn't that a cutie patootie? Oh, well, waiting for me on the sand right here. Yep, that looks like a pretty gosh darn nice moon snail. Well, I was smashed up against this rock wall here, or this cliff face, I should say. There's a lot of broken bivalves and everything, but I just saw something that I kind of like the look of. Look at that cute little scallop boy. Yeah, once again, we call these the commercial scallop here, or maybe the Australian or the Southern Australian scallop. It's very nice. If you're in America, you might call this one a calico scallop. Oh, is there something good in this little hole? Is that an Arabian? Did I just spot an Arabian down there? Oh, I can't see. Is this it? Is it a, is it a rock? Oh, stretch. Is it Arabian? I can feel it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Arabian number one today. It's very worn away. I think it will turn a bit white once it dries, but that is still super duper cool. Oh, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen such a nice, graceful cowrie. Look at that guy. He's got a lovely pattern on top. I like it when the graceful cowries, because they, they're so small, they get worn away very easily. This one looks really nice though. Mr. Snakehead, how do you look? Oh, wow. Oh, he actually looks pretty gosh darn good. Yeah, I don't mind him at all. I see, oh, in my shadow, a little Triton shell. Let's take a look. Yep, there we go. A little Spangler's Triton. Where are my limpid lovers today? Take a look at that one. That's a beautiful tortoise limpet. Or is it turtle limpet? I can't remember. There's a lovely little guy with some very nice patterns on him. Well, let's pick up a few small ones while we're here. First up, oh gosh, that is a nice guy. A telescoped dove shell. And uh, kind of next to it, let's look at this guy. I think he is the banded periwinkle, if I'm remembering that right. Uh, he looks empty. I think he's good to take. He's a nice one. Fairly common on the rocks around here. And what's this? What's this one? Just a little mini cone shell of some description. Gosh, he is adorable. 
Oh, is that whole? I mean, there's a big crack in it. Oh, it is whole. Oh, that surprised the bejeebus out of me. Oh my. <laughs> well, yes, he's, a, he's got a big crack in him. That's an unfortunate occurrence considering how lovely and dark his coloration is. I really love the dark checkered bonnets. They're always the nicest and most desirable. But gosh, he is cool, so I will be keeping this guy. I, I can't help myself. I have a problem. Whenever I see a stuck bonnet, I just want to try to get it out and take a look. Oh, that one wasn't even stuck. Oh, it is whole. He just looks kind of ugly, you know. <laughs> Holy sweet, swelly seashells. I looked here like, like 10 minutes ago. That must have just come in on a wave. Wow. Wow, are you kidding me? That's the second time in two days that I found a little magnificent volley with his tip. Oh my goodness, I am so stoked with that. Yeah, there's no creature in there. There's just bits of, uh, of stuff. Oh my goodness, like literally that just washed in. I looked here before. Wow, that's so nice. That snake head was not here either. Look at how shiny that looks. Whoa. Okay. Okay, look at how glossy that is in the sun. Oh, wow, that is a very nice snake head. Let me see your underside. What? For sure that's a gem one. He doesn't even have a predator hole in him. Wow. Yes. Yes, I know I have a problem. Whenever I see a stuck bonnet, I need to take a look at it just to see how it is. Oh, this one's actually loose. Oh, are you kidding me? Guys, look at this pretty banded bonnet. I know, I know, we've had a lot of bonnets in the last few videos. My gosh, and they've all been freaking spectacular. This one's another absolute beauty. Would you look at all that lovely yellow around there? Oh my goodness. Well, I just found this little cat cowrie after smushing my foot into the sand. Cast my eyes up and what is this? What's this guy? Oh, would you look at that? I do not find these often. This is not a grape cowrie. It's a, a limousina cowrie. Yeah, I just don't find that many. I don't, I don't find that many in a nice condition either. Ooh, ooh, sorry, the wind picked up. I'll, I'll double down again. Oh my goodness, that is a cool cowrie. I should really, you know, just kind of smush my foot down in this section more, give it a little swirly swirly and see what pops up. I kid you not, I kid you not, I picked up something and I threw some like little bits of like round coral away because I didn't want it. My foot moved and what the absolute sweet heck is this one doing right here? Look at how big and amazing that is, oh my god. What? I am like, I'm sorry I didn't catch it just tumbling out of the sand in the act. You should have seen my eyes pop out of my freaking skull. That is an absolutely wonderful Wendell trap. So, so big. Wow. Oh, that one looks nice. I didn't see him before. He either came in on a wave or the... What, 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 what? Oh my God. Oh my God. My words just died in my mouth. What the heck was I saying? Wow, that is a freaking amazing, lovely snakehead. It has to be a sub-adult because it's like, it's like still looks like it's growing its teeth there. Oh my goodness, it's such a big boy and he's like, he's like jam quality guys. That is absolutely lovely. I just saw water wash up from in there. Did that get pushed up from down in the depth somewhere? What? That's totally a good checkered bonnet. Did that fall out of my bag or something? Or is that a new one? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Incest moon snail. Absolutely lovely kind of flat sand snail. Gosh, what a big one he is. That's lovely. Oh, oh, I wanted, I wanted to smush it with my foot, but I just saw that erosa. Oh, wow. Would you get a load of this erosa? He's got a big red spot on the side lovely red ribbing around his mouth as well or his um uh what do you call that on the side there <laughs> uh, his margins i don't know if that's right oh gosh he is beautiful though is that moon snail hole or is that just a piece oh i thought that was flat there i didn't think it was gonna be a whole dude oh wow that is a lovely whole moon snail ah, come on i command you Ooh, I got it! <laughs> oh, and I was just
just wondering why no one else had gotten that out after it being here for probably days. And that's the reason why. There we go. He's a bit black, but he's certainly a nice big bonnet. Well, uh, the weather has turned a little unexpectedly stormy, so let's see all the shells at home. So here are the shell finds for yesterday, and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. Um, it was a bit of a shame that I had to leave like at low tide when it started to rain and storm, but you know, it was still a pretty full day of shell finds. Um, and before we all go, let's of course talk about a favourite. Please let me know down in the comments which ones were your favourites too. I must say I didn't find too many cowries today or even lately, but I have been finding a lot of really nice ones. A couple of standout snake heads here. They look absolutely lovely and glossy. They didn't turn white when they dried, so that was a wonderful, wonderful score on them. I absolutely love this Arosa. I haven't added anything to it. It's just naturally dried off and it's just so shiny. Just got all the makings of a, of a very nice shell in a very nice condition. Must be an absolutely fresh Arosa find. I also surprisingly really like this little blue cowrie that I found pretty much right off the bat. Just very lovely and glossy as well. I don't mind that guy one bit. Um, so uh, my favorite today, it was a bit hard. I was thinking about it as I was putting them out. It's going to be a toss-up between this beautiful, magnificent volute with the tip. I always like finding them with the tip, and I went months without finding more than two of them, and now it's like two in the last week. Or it'll be this Wendell trap that I found in the area that always gets pummel pummeled by waves. Super surprised that it was whole and lovely like this. So, um... You know what? You know what? My favorite is going to be the Wendell Trap, and actually, because I love Arosas, probably this lovely little Arosa right here. So yeah, those two are my favorites today. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.